This comedian made a name for himself by telling audiences what's wrong with the entertainment industry. Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton and welcome to WatchMojo.com. Our host Veronica went to Just for Laughs to speak with Andy Kindler about his state of the industry speech and to get a dose of his unconventional sense of humor. Is that a euphemism? <laughs> I don't like this crowd. Now here at the festival you host the state of the industry where the whole festival shuts down and it's just you. The comedians come, everyone comes. Uh, can you tell us about it for those who won't have the opportunity to see it? Well, you're right, everything does get shut down. Uh, in fact, the people have been complaining because we shut the electricity off in the downtown area of the city. And then we have like a sky thing, like a Batman sky thing that announces where the speech is. Well, it's been 16 years I've been doing this speech, and so uh, I don't know why I brought that up, but the point is, is that I talk about what's wrong with the entertainment industry, and that's what I do every single year. And luckily, there's so many things that are terrible about the entertainment industry that there's always material to pull from. Last month, the movie The Dilemma came out. I don't know if you remember that movie or you remember last month, but this was, <laughs> this was the long-awaited Vince Vaughn, Kevin James buddy vehicle. The dilemma. And when it came out, I had my own dilemma. Should I not see this in the movie theater or wait and not see it when it comes out on cable? It's only open to the industry. So don't try and come here if you're a plumber. We'll kick you out. Or if you're involved in, uh, if you have a blue collar job. I don't know what I'm saying. I think it's important that people hear, well, not important, but I'm compelled to say a lot of things I talk about, comics, they talk about but they don't talk about it on stage. I don't think people really like Jay Leno per se. <laughs> per se. Um, I think the people who watch Jay Leno uh, are people who need to go to sleep at 11.45 every night. They have, to, they have to go to sleep then. But I actually read in an interview where you said you actually don't like confrontation, but here you are that's going true. on stage. Well, that's the thing. That's not what I'm in, in it for. I'm not in it for the confrontation. I'm in it for the money, which hasn't happened yet. Which hasn't happened yet. I'm not in it for the money, obviously. Or for the clothing. In 1992, I was the first comedian to say, am I right, ladies? <laughs> that was me. Before that, the comedians didn't care if the ladies thought they were correct. I, I changed all that. Being, putting on good television or movie, whatever you do, is really simple. You need to open up your heart to what you, and let stuff in. It's like, when I go to a comedy club and the crowd's not listening to me, I get upset, not as much as I used to, but it's like, you can't enjoy comedy unless you're willing to create a relationship where you're listening to the comedy and the comedy's coming to you. It cannot happen. It's a two-way street. And it's the same thing with being able to tell what's good. If you're always thinking, will this sell? What's the demographic? Will my uh, uh, bosses like it? You can't put anything good on. If I wasn't fairly confident that I would never be invited on that show, I might be hesitant to do this material, but I don't care. I'll leave you with this. Uh, keep your eye on the dreams. No, that's Casey Kasem. Uh, keep, keep trying, and keep trying. Never give up, unless you really believe that giving up's the best way to go. That's great. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. That was fun. Can the people who are enjoying me move towards the front and the other people get the hell out and don't come back ever? I'm kidding. I'm only kidding. Many times I'm kidding, but no one senses it but me.